We have some very sad news to report tonight about a man who meant a lot to us and to many of you. Mike Ambrose has passed away. Captain Mike did the weather on 10 News from 1973 until his retirement in 2001. Hal Clement, who like many of us, worked with Mike for many years, he's here now with a look back. This is just so impossible many memories to today, believe. we've all discussed it. So much to remember about such a great guy. You know, the word institution gets thrown around maybe a little too often these days, but no question about it, Mike Ambrose was a San Diego television institution. Many of you came to look upon him as a friend. All of us knew him as a friend. Where do we start when we talk about away. Mike with that impossibly deep voice? It was just plain cloudy. We got a rather substantial low pressure system over Baja, California. With that 50, unique 60, sense 70, of humor. 80, lovely, gorgeous females who were clutching and clawing to get near Captain AccuWeather's dynamite, lithe, lean, muscular, surf-type body. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy... With the holiday year, toy shop that provided toys to so many needy children. His name, of course, was Mike Ambrose, but after a while, we all just called him Captain Mike. It started when he put on a World War I flyer's helmet to be Grand Marshal of a hot air balloon event. From then on, he was Captain Mike. It was so much easier for people to identify with a silly name like that from kids to adults than it was if I just used Mike Ambrose. He started in radio and was working at Kogo Radio here in the Channel 10 building. It didn't take long before I discovered, hey, there are lights, cameras in action <laughs> on the other side of the hall that was television. And television was where Mike belonged. <laughs> <laughs> when I take these jackets off, my shoulders go right with it, friends. But what we remember is the man off camera. A really sensitive guy, too. You know, if you ever sat down one-on-one -on -one with him and you could talk about feelings and you know, politics and the existence of God. I mean, he, he loved to just talk about everything. He loved the royal family, remember that? On Mike's last day at 10 News, the goodbye party took up a whole studio. And years after he retired, the name Captain Mike would bring a smile to our faces. Mike was one of the funniest people I ever knew. He, but he had self-deprecating humor, and he made light in a situation and always made other people feel good about themselves. So we salute you, Captain. We remember the laughs and the smiles and the times when you picked us all up with a joke or a comment. I love you all. And we'll miss you. And Mike, thanks, uh, we feel the same way. For having a great... Mike died last Thursday after being hospitalized for a week with an unknown illness. He was 69 years old. No word yet about a memorial service. And there is much more, a lot, about Captain Mike on 10news.com and also a spot for you to share your thoughts and memories. Of course, a good friend of Lauren's and a good friend of all of us here at 10 News, Captain Mike, gave us plenty of laughs over his 40-year career. Tonight, we take a look back at some of the times that he shared with us and our 10 News viewers. Hey, in the Oval Office, just before their appearance on our cameras here, Mike. <laughs> it is... <laughs> Unfortunately, the rain has just begun here in the parking lot of Channel 10. I can't answer your question. It's still raining here, and possibly the rain dance was a little more successful than we had originally planned. And back to you, my friend. Listen to this one and tell me from which of Tchaikovsky's suites is this famous selection? More than likely, Tchaikovsky did not write that particular piece of music. Um, I'll save you. Watch out, Mike. <laughs> Acting is a little strange, but that's how it's done. And <laughs> simply by using... Goodbye, kid. Very cool. Why are they laughing? It's that tree tin back here, which is... What in the world is Can't going on? <laughs> there it is. The Christmas tree is moving. It's a killer tree is what it is. Wait a minute. Excuse me. <laughs> what in the world is going on here? Give me that. Oh, they've got... Look at that. They had a, they had a Christmas tree on a, on a rope or something, and we're fooling around. Take a look at some temperatures. This is very impressive without the temperatures, but it'd be even more impressive with them. The machine is not working. Now I'll make... That's all right. 
I'm told to ask the camera operator to pan to my right so we can see what's going no, on. No, no, his side. other right. His the other, other right. right. The other right. <laughs> this is live television. And I gotta go. We'll, <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see you later. It's been nice talking to you. <laughs> Oh. We're laughing then, we're laughing today. That's what he always does. I'll miss his laugh and his <sighs> smile and his voice and his funny remarks. And he was such a good friend to all of us oh. inside, too. I mean, you could really go to him and talk. Loyal. Don't forget, loyal, his weather camps were always really big, you know. And over here! Yes. And over there! It was yeah. so physical. And as I would prepare for my next newscast, I'd be in my office. He'd love to come in and go, don't strain yourself, princess. <laughs> <laughs> you Are you ready to, to come out of your trailer yet? It was <laughs> very theatric. Oh, man. The, one, one of the best there ever was. And so, of course, we'll miss him as a friend, but uh, the TV industry has missed the best. Yep. Yeah. You really defined it for all of us. All right, coming up, it's our picture of the day.